What's going on everyone? Welcome to my weekly progression video. So this is not exactly one week. It's probably one week plus one day. But uh, I don't count the first day as playing because I was trying to navigate what was um, going on, like where everything is, what, like what do you do? And after I finished my day one, this the, the first day, uh, after, after I finished my reroll, I probably did two reroll. When I got Esto, I was like, okay, I like her. Um, then I was trying to figure out, because it's really buggy. I got like black screen, I got like, it crashes every like five seconds. So I didn't really get to play. And then after like a couple hours, after my reroll, I'm like, you know what? I, I can't play this. Then I keep changing emulator and stuff. Then finally it was a little bit more stable. Then started playing. And then after I played for like, I don't know, an hour ish, and then the reset happened. It was like day two, and then I got my login and stuff. So day two, I tried kind of try to figure out what was going on but it's still crashing a lot so I didn't really get to play um anyways long story short then everything got some more stable and and then now um okay let me tell you guys how so rank level I mean rank 26 for my account level and I have been playing every single day since launch every day I play around well, let's say between three to six hours. I can only play at home because I linked my account to the emulator. So when I'm out, even when I have time, I can't play. It, it, it kind of sucks, but I know transferring back and forth is possible on the same um, Android or same iOS, but it's a pain in the ass because you have to re-download everything and then you have to transfer it. Not worth the trouble for me because, uh, yeah, I mean... If I'm out, I probably should focus on something else rather than just playing video games. But this game alone, I think it's kind of like a mo not mobile game, kind of like a console game. It's really good. It's really good. I like it. I haven't. I tried so many games, and of course, the main games I I play right now is Language Star. That game, it's probably I, in my opinion, it's probably the best mobile game that I played. And this one is is really good, and it's different, and it got me addicted to it. I think there's so many bugs, um, it's laggy, it's like, there's so many things that needs to be fixed, but still, I I can't stop playing it, So, which means um, it's a good game to me. But anyways, long story short, we are going to go to my progression here, so 26, and okay, so character-wise, I, man, I'm telling you, man, these, some of these farming, um, I don't even like how they show the characters like by title by level let's do by level okay so this is actually easier to show um okay so level 80 level 60 i actually built a lot of sr heroes the reason behind that is i know for a fact that that's any gacha game sr hero is easier to awaken like fully max stars compared to SSR like they're by the time they get to SSR they are already like not SSR like five stars they are already like maxed out for like months before because well myself I am close to well most of the game I play is completely free to play this game I didn't spend a penny yet Langrisser I spent around eight dollar a month so it's just to me that you know spending money on games is just not my thing and. I probably don't even have the time to, you know, utilize the resources if I do buy them. Because even now I can't use them on my AP and everything. But, um, so yeah, I'm building the SR heroes, the couple ones that, um, the whales think are good. And I like the main characters a lot. In general, all the games I play, I use the main characters. So I, regardless if they're good or not, I'm going to build them and I'm going to use them. Um, yeah, even other games doesn't matter I use the main characters until I get completely stuck to a point that okay you guys suck I'm not gonna use you anymore but at least have fun okay so there's that and currently what I'm doing is I'm farming I'm farming for these because it, it's a bitch to farm I'm telling you even though it tells you where to get it but I'm telling you clearing the very hard one it's waste of stamina so I'm not gonna do that right now and their um, AP half off story event is not working. Like, I'm not gonna farm these here because the drop rate, drop rate, I don't know how rare it is, but 
it seems like it's pretty rare. So I get it from raids, but raid takes a long, long time as well. And let's say if I do 10 raids, it doesn't even drop one sometimes. So which, um, yeah, so other characters, same same deal here. The SR hero, same deal. I just have to farm that. And Moria Stone, um, don't know if you guys want to look at it, but there's nothing really interesting, honestly. Whatever I can level up, I kind of level up. So when you come to a raid, I'm okay. I'm just gonna quickly give you guys some tips here. If you do eight, it's only eight here, and it only takes one BP. And then if you host your own, it's gonna take you know ten. Um, depends on level seven or five. And this, if you solo, it, the drop rate is just much higher. It, of course, it's gonna take longer because you're gonna grab all the you know the VIP last blow, the final blow. Um, those all those rewards so the drop is just much much higher um, I feel like you're gonna probably save yourself more time than doing the aid the aid no joke I did 28 trying to get that stupid egg looking thing or this flower looking thing I didn't get one drop yeah and when I did the open my own one it, I got it right away so yeah I think the BP is better to save until you can do the hard or very hard and then you can leech out of um, other stronger players. So there's that. Um, the event wise, I haven't really been farming the event. This one here, I, I'll show you guys, I don't have much going yet and I, after this, after I upload this video, I probably have to go to sleep. There's a lot of things to do, and I haven't even unlocked these ones yet. So, but this event, I think there's um, good week ish. So I'll probably get going tomorrow day after. Uh, there's that, and then the power quest and stuff. I'm at the very last, very hard for all of them. This one here, very hard three. I don't even bother trying because it's gonna take so long. Even though. Even if I can clear it, it takes so long, I don't think it's worth my time. I'd rather just, because I always have AP like left. I'd rather just do this a little bit faster, even though I get less rare um, drops. It's just faster for me, because let's say if I have three hours to play per day, I just want to use them on my AP, because there's so many times when I want to use them up, I level up. When I level up, what happens? Then I regenerate all my AP, and it happens again. Then I have to... Try to use them, use all of them before I go to sleep. Otherwise, I don't. Otherwise, I feel you know stressed. I'm like, oh my god, I'm wasting my AP. Phantom Tower, I didn't even play at all. I don't. I think this is like three days ago. Like, just so much time here, right? That I'm like, you know what? Because my guildmates, there's they spend money. They're at way higher level than I am. They're kind of stuck at like floor 20, 25th. I'm like, you know what? If they're stuck right now, even if I like, climb up there, I'm just gonna, I'll get stuck. There's no point, so might as well just keep going with the whatever I'm progressing level, um, farming gold or farming that material to ascend. Arena wise, arena wise, um, four thousand. If you guys watch some of my pre previous videos, the emulator I used before, I used LD player before. My God, whenever everything is good, but whenever I play arena five games for so five tickets right so three out of five games it'll crash and whenever it crashes it counts as a disconnect and then you you lose it counts as a loss this actually sucks so i never really because i'm so scared to actually play arena because i'm like oh my god it's just gonna count as a loss i i have to cross my fingers and you know what it's so stressful and then i started trying different emulator and now i'm using nox player it works the best. It never crashed once since I switched over. I switched over um, two days ago. It's good. And my screen, like my graphic, it's also HD. It, it's great. So if you guys are having difficulties, having you no know, experiencing crashes and stuff, use Nox Player. It's the best. I, I at least try four emulator. But this one is good. Um, never crashes and I'm climbing. I went from like, I don't freaking remember, man. My rank was so low um, before. I think I was at around like thirty thousand between thirty thousand and forty thousand, or right here twenty thousand and thirty thousand. I'm pretty sure this is right now, but 
I I auto everything. Oh yeah, and I auto everything. I mean like my PVE, my raid, everything. I auto. I never manual anything yet. I hope I don't have to soon, because usually I'm working, doing something else while playing this game. It's perfect, but. I know, well, from my guildmates, hearing from them, um, eventually you'll need to start manually, at least in arena. But anyways, this is really important because every week when the season ends, you're going to get all these rewards. So I'll try to climb to around right here. I think I'm pretty close. Oh, I'm actually here. Okay, thank God. Then I'll get more um, Glim Gem. Glim Stone. <laughs> okay, so that's arena. So what else am I missing to show you guys? So, also, you guys probably wondering, okay, this is interesting, I, I gotta see your progression and stuff. So this one here is kind of like a reference, um, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might be like me, don't have a lot of time, spend zero money on the game, and you probably want to compare progression, it's like, oh, okay, you, you have this many characters, you have this many characters level up, you are at this stage, blah, blah, blah. So I, all the other games I do... I do these week weekly progression videos. They get pretty popular, and people are like, "Oh, thank God for making it!" Because like now I know where my progression is compared to yours, right? So, anyways, so we also have this um, challenge missions. So I'm at here right now. This one I can actually finish it, but I'm just so so lazy to go back and whatever. Even if I get the glim stones here, I usually don't summon until I have more. I don't like summoning like. 20 and again nothing I feel like I'm wasting time <laughs> uh, oh talking about summon you know what before I forget I have to do this now I I actually forgot doing the free summon I probably missed it three times uh, I got some what is this tofu and stuff all right okay um, I also got ticket summons I got two tickets, you know what? Use it or not, I'm thinking. Oh, I also get- What? I have eight arena? How How did I get this? You know what? You guys are in for a treat. So let's do it. Oh, I think I exchanged it from the arena. Uh, the arena medal. Yeah, I'm also going to make arena- Not the arena, exchange shop. Like, a breakdown thing doesn't make sense in case you guys make like similar mistakes oh i also have to tell you guys something after my a summon oh here we go here we go here we go if you guys watch my summon video i got pretty pretty clutch my 40 40 multi summon so i feel like i'm gonna get a little lucky here too oh no oh oh come on come on SSR, not even close. Okay, I know they can change the SSR. Oh, come on. No. Rip, rip, rip. <sighs> well, fine. Okay, so there's one thing I. I was gonna do in the beginning of the video. <sighs> it's so important. I just found out myself. Where we were exchange, yes. So if you guys watch my you know what to focus as a free to play player, I missed this tip in there and go to Glimstone Exchange, click into this, because you know when you refill your you restore your AP, it costs um, 40 Glimstone. And right here, look at this quest support pack you can exchange with 40 glimstone once a day and this thing is amazing it gives you three gel and each one it restores your hp 100 percent which means 40 glimstone per day can restore three times of your ap so instead of using four um what should we call it um, three times of your 40 limestone right like right here look use 40 for this much so you need 120 to do it three times but if you exchange that you just need 40 
to get three times. It's amazing. I, I wish I knew earlier, so I at least missed it for five days. I would have five more of those gels. And last but not least, I think I pretty much showed everything. Last but not least would be my guild. Um, if you guys haven't joined a guild, join right now. If you have joined a guild or a guild leader, make sure you are doing your job. And oops, I don't think I donated. So you need to donate. And our guild rank is nine. We haven't really caught up because not everyone donating with their max. Like myself, I haven't done it yet. But if everyone donates, the maximum geld and item rank up is really really fast and my guild of course is full some of you might be trying to see if there's a spot open no there is not unfortunately and I don't think I need that many of this tada another thousand and hundred twenty all right so this one here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do my summon here too. Get a point summon. I can do 20 Maori. 20 Maori. Let's do it. So I've probably done 50 multi already. And I have gotten... I haven't gotten spot out. Nor... Uh... Caro here. I can do two. Yes. So this one you get the uh... Refine stone. Oh, oh, I got him! I got him! Alright, I gotta figure that out if he's good. You get a Dorn Stone, the um, Memoria upgrade. You get these tomb books. So it's good. It's like free summon every day. Alrighty, that is it everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also want to apologize in advance that the Japan meta video I made yesterday, there's a lot of mistranslation from my part and honestly, there's a lot of in-game terms that I thought I understood but it wasn't, apparently it wasn't translated properly so I also want to thank you some people who helped me out with the, especially the, for the wildfire. I totally misunderstood how it worked and I built Amiel myself and he I tested it so this guy he is like actually OP so what happened is if his wildfire procs any other opponent you hit let's say he it procs on A and then you hit B B is gonna take the attack and then A is gonna take the same attack. So whatever B damage is taken, A will, it will also apply on A, whoever has the uh, dark radius applied. So it's, it's actually bro so broken. You hit one to get two. And it lasts for two turns. Usually he's probably dead. And it's not just him, anyone that attacks that target. So yes, there is that. And again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are, you know, if you guys like these weekly progression videos, let me know and what I should, you know, mention or what I can just omit mentioning so I can make this a little bit shorter. So let me know. And thank you for watching and bye bye.